The sellout tradition will continue tomorrow for the Dayton Dragons with fifth third field packed once again with people hoping to see some future Cincinnati Reds. However, on a handful of nights, John Seibel reports even the players take a back seat. For 70 dates this spring and summer, over 8,000 people will surround this field of dreams. On five of those dates, those dreams will come true. Dreams far greater than just baseball. I love sports. Can name a lot of stuff. Talk about a lot of stuff. I'm talkative. I'm smart, funny, cool, you know. And a perfectly normal and precocious 14-year-old, if you ask him or his dad, who glows about how big his son's heart is. His lungs, however, are a different matter. Nick has cystic fibrosis. Yeah, two days before Christmas, we got the notice, and then two days after Christmas that year, he was in the hospital for his first time. That was in 2001. Since then, two treatments to loosen his lungs every day and medication to go along with it. Nearly 15 years of every day. Enough to break your spirit, right? You haven't met Nick Thomas then. Oh, I would like to play in the MLB, but. I could be a new sports caster, I know something like that. Maybe on ESPN. And that ball is gone. The Dayton Dragons let him live the dream last year, part of their home run for life, giving Nick his own special day and his own trip around the bases. Well, it was neat because I ran around the bases. And at the end, I got a fresh wooden bat. Called, they called my name and everything. Good smell, that nice maple. And then I, uh, it was, that was neat. And then I got to uh, interview a base, an actual baseball player, and then he gave me a bat. So there's two bats, and then I got sweet. It was just a perfect day, you know. With both teams lining the baselines and the home run horn sounding, <laughs> Nick received the all-star treatment. There was one more thing, tears. And lots of them. I think it's tears of joy because we are celebrating that they're making it through this battle or overcoming this hurdle in their life. And they're really, um, as mentioned before, they're not held back by this, hopefully. They're going to still go and reach for their dreams. Oh, and Nick intends on reaching those dreams in Game 7 of the World Series with a catch of Hall of Fame proportions. I run practically a good 50 feet, die, lay out football and catch it. That, that'd be sweet. Sweet. And if you know him, quite possible. John Seibel, 2 News, working for you.